Now, what if you want to do your own checks? This routine is provided by standard SAP. What if you want to do your own? Let's take a simple example. Custom routines. Say there is a quotation and in the quotation in additional data B you have introduced a new set of fields. Say ZZ installation date. You have created it based on your business requirements and say another field ZZ installation toolkit. These are two additional fields that you have captured as part of your business requirements. Now when you try to create an order your standard requirements 001 or 002 they don't understand these fields but these fields are required in the order as well. So it's your duty as a functional consultant to figure out how these fields need to be used when creating an order from a quotation. So what do you do in this case? If installation date is not in range, say you have promised an installation date of May 20th and if that is out of range then do not create an order with reference to the quotation. Just like how the standard routine checks the validity date in the quotation, right? Think of these as additional set of dates that need to be checked. Nothing new, we're just trying to satisfy the business requirements. What is the business scenario here? Uh, say, hey, we have promised an installation date of May 20th. So if you come before that date, then we'll be able to fulfill that quotation. Maybe because um, the technicians um, are lined up that way for that installation. If the customer comes beyond a certain date, then the company will not be able to provide services against that quotation. Well, we're not saying no. We're just asking the customer to start all over again with a new quotation, new set of service dates. But the standard SAP system does not check that. Right? These fields like installation field is a new field. So SAP's routines are not aware of these fields. So here are the steps. Step number one, identify the copy control requirement routine between the source and the order. I'm saying QT and order because it's easy to understand. So how do you identify the copy control routines? Go to VTAA, select your source and target documents, go to details and then find out the requirement routines. Say it's uh, 001. Step 2. By the way, from 001 through 600 is reserved for SAP. And from 601 through 999 is custom routines. You can create your own. But you're not supposed to create a new routine in the 0 to 600 space. You, you already know this in some way. Just like the way you create an order type. Starting only with a Y or Z, right? Anything starting with A, B, C all the way through X is reserved for standard SAP. We're not supposed to touch them, right? So step number two is after you found out the routine, figure out if the routine is standard or custom. If it's standard, it's between 1 and 601. And if it's custom, it's between 601 and 999. What's the difference? If it is a standard routine, we cannot change it. Copy the routine and create a new routine. If it's custom, we can go ahead and modify it. New routines. 
where do you go and modify new routines that is step number 3 modify or create new routines where do you do that the transaction code is v o f m this is a very important transaction these routines are also called v o f m routines for the simple reason that v o f m is a transaction code where these routines can be created these routines are configured or plugged into the document flow using vta or vtfl or any of these transactions but where these routines are created is the transaction vofm one part is creation the second part is use this is a very simple code transaction code to look at all you see is the different configuration areas like copy control requirements and orders say we are talking order level copy control requirements so you go there and look at the requirements see you have 1 2 3 0 these are copy control requirement routines let me log into another window and uh, show you the copy control requirements between qt and or you see on the right you see the copy control requirement routines and on the left you see the vofm routines so from quotation to the order the copy control requirement routine is 001 what is 001 001 is created here if you want to create your own routines you go and define the routines here and once you go and define them and activate them here you'll get them as a number 